Hey everyone, it's me, Alphonse or Tasty, back again with more Red vs. Blue, like I promised. Today I'll be reacting to episodes 36 and 37, which are the third and second to last episodes of season 2. And because season 2's finale is like, what, 16 minutes long, that will obviously be its own video. We're almost done with season 2, finally, after what, like, me trying to watch Red vs. Blue for two years? Quick announcement before, slash reminder, before we uh, get into this reaction video, I'm wearing one of my pre previous RTX shirts, RTX 2016, and I just want to let y'all know that if you didn't know already, I will be uh, at RTX 2018 and I will be on the Vital Cast panel, which is really cool. It's a panel about the Vital Cast kind of li live stream podcast I do with David, Portal 64, uh, link to his channels in the description, but we talk about Ruby every week pretty much every week. It's basically like a really cool Ruby podcast and we have guests and stuff, so please go check that out. And if you're coming to RTX 2018, please consider checking out our panel and uh, I can see you there. If any of you guys are going to RTX 2018, let me know. That's about it for now. So let's just go ahead and get into these next two episodes. Man, Here we go, back into Red vs. Blue. I don't like it. I love Caboose forever. Oh. <laughs> She's a tank. Yeah, exactly. I gotta agree, though, but don't steal Caboose's girl. Yep. <laughs> I don't think she can drive herself. A muffin? What? Uh oh, are the are the robots gonna rise up? <laughs> I love how the tank's a fucking character. The robots went on strike. Ooh, that was a threat. Yeah, like, the Reds are not gonna understand an actual plan. Everyone gives Griff too much shit. Feel bad for him. <laughs> yes, that'd be awesome. Uh, imagine recording this. It must have been so great. I want to see him wear the spy tux over his... <laughs> over his armor. <laughs> Double O Donut! Donut! <laughs> They're all idiots. He's just trying to have fun. <laughs> oh my god, what is... That transition, though. This show was high quality back in the day. I love Donut, too. I forgot how great he was. I was gonna say something, but I forget what it was. Oh, I think, I think it was gonna be like, I identify with the dumb characters because I'm dumb. Did they say that? I thought they just said they weren't gonna help them. Why don't you just possess him like you normally do? I would, but it's getting harder to do it each time. 
Mm. I don't know, okay, if he's just a ghost that can still walk around and talk to people, what's the big deal? So, Doc, I remember his name was Doc. He got possessed by O'Malley. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that does sound pretty suspicious. Wouldn't he hear Donut? Why is O'Malley's voice so weird in him? <laughs> I love this close-up of this, like, what is it, early 2000s Halo characters. Poor Doc. None of these characters deserve the shit, but it's, it, it is pretty funny. Oh, he's running to the blue base. It's totally the blue base, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Drama will ensue. <laughs> that was a good episode, and it's like I said earlier, like, I feel like I like the dumb characters, like Donut or Caboose, because I'm kind of dumb myself, and it's just, they're so adorable, and, like, they make jokes, and, like, I think their personalities are just really cute, and Caboose is still my favorite, and I'm pretty sure Blue Team is my favorite team, um, and I'm just wondering why, oh god, I apologize because it's hard for me to keep up with names in this show for some reason. So please don't send me hate mail, but is it is it Church, the one who like died and he's the ghost? Whichever one's the ghost, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll look it up after I freaking move on to the next episode. But like, if he's just a ghost that can stand around talking to people, does it really like matter if he has a body? Like I don't remember if there's anything specific going on with that, like he needs a body. I mean obviously I can understand wanting one, but like... I don't know if there's a need there. It, like, if, you, if you've if seen my last RVB reaction, you know that I had not reacted to it for, like, a year. So, um, I, I, I have forgotten some stuff, but I don't have time to go back and rewatch everything. And plus, the story doesn't matter so much right now as it does in future seasons. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next episode. Sorry if I'm getting anything wrong, but... It, it'll be fine. In the grand scheme of things, it won't matter. So let's go ahead and move on to episode 37. Oh yeah, it's a female because he has pink armor. Lightish red. I remember that. <laughs> Aww, like that's so cute and funny to me. I, that's a good color pink, though. <laughs> Silence, woman, ugh. They're all stupid. But I like the really stupid characters. Yeah, so that's Tucker, so I think the dead one's Church. A crock pot for 140 jars of mayonnaise? Like, what is this universe? Are they being friends? I guess that's our two favorite characters being friends. Idiot friends. That's kind of cute. Aww, you 
They're so cute. His friend. You want to braid each other's hair? <laughs> what? Hello, Inferior Red Squad. We would like to talk to you about. Hey, get the heck. Shut up, you idiot. We're not here to fight. We're here to negotiate. Okay, big negotiation. What the? He can't possess that body forever, so, and he said it gets harder to possess, so. I mean, they would like to negotiate a surrender to us. Go to them. No, wait, no, 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 right. To them, to us. A dead rat in a trap would be pretty smelly. Yeah, aren't they like technically in a war? Like, this is the worst war of all time. This show's such high quality. Oh, motherfucker! Okay, now you're under attack. Go ahead and surrender, bitch! Did they just, like, shoot him? Like, he didn't react? Fuck that, I'm pissed. Let's fight. Now that you have been thoroughly humiliated by our superior military strategy, Sarge is also an idiot. And our pink private! Okay, but there's one catch! What, Shinola? Sarge, they want you to build two robots for their team. One for each prisoner that they're releasing. What is like church? Why do we need two robots? You know, one for me and one for them. Oh man, don't tell me you're doing this for Tex. You're still in love with her, aren't you? Wait, yeah, where is Tex? I'm kind of dumb. I forgot where she is. This is the worst war of all time, and these are the worst armies of all time. Weird draw like the dude's switch was in his crotch or something. Okay, I gotta hurry back before Lopez and Sheila suspect anything. Make sure this pink guy doesn't run away when I leave. I mean it. I'll meet you guys back at the base. He's gonna run away. I love how they do that. It's so funny. We were just talking to your friends, but you are going to stay with us now for a while. Are we gonna have a sleepover? That would be OTP. Okay, OTP donut and caboose. OTP. OTP right there. Donut and caboose. Cup holder. I mean, if you just, if he possesses a body, can't he just move it himself? <laughs> That's what you get for, like, negotiating with people who hate you. Like, what else do you expect? This is like the weirdest negotiation I've ever seen. Okay, so we got those two episodes out of the way, and there's one episode left in season two, so are we making progress? Well, we'll wait to see how many episodes of uh, RVB reactions actually get out over the summer, but uh, I think for now we're making some progress, so. I really like this show and like I understand right now it's not as plot driven and I could probably skip the first few seasons um, but I really like like this is the early the earliest days of Rooster Teeth really and like 
the original voice actors, the original guys who put Rooster Teeth together, and I think that's something, like, to really appreciate, so that's why I wanted to start from the very beginning, and just, I love the humor in this, it's, like, it's honestly pretty unlike anything else I've ever seen. Like, I understand a lot of it hinges on the fact that all the characters are pretty stupid. But it's, like, an acceptable stupid. Like, they're not completely stupid and, like, they think they're doing the right thing. And that's just, like, way more interesting and funny to me than a character who, like, acknowledges all they are is, like, stupid. So, I, I really don't know how to describe it, so I'm sorry if my uh, description isn't very good. But... I really like this show. We're going to finish season two soon and be on to season three. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Like, I think, like, a long time ago, I got up to season four, maybe. I don't remember barely any of it at all, though. So, like, reacting to this is, like, a new uh, experience for me. So, I uh, can't wait to see where this show goes and, like, when we get into the real story and eventually, if I don't die before I make RVB reactions enough, then we'll get to, like, the Monty era stuff and then the stuff they're putting out now. That'll be the day if we actually catch up with Red vs. Blue. Oh my god, like, I can't imagine myself doing that, honestly, because I'm so bad at putting these reactions out. But anyway, uh, I will be back with more. I promise. I'm, I'm keeping my promise for now. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go check out Vitalcast, like I talked about in the beginning of this episode, and come to my RTX panel. It's not mine, but I'll be there. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye-bye!